of the things we know about Freud is that he built a world from the studio. I mean, he says, I want to paint in the rooms in which I live. I'm talking to uh, Sandy Nairn, who's the director of the National Portrait Gallery, on the occasion of this magnificent Lucian Freud portrait show. We start off in the late 40s, uh, come through the 50s and 60s. I mean, it's a career of seven decades, mm. but by the 80s here, we're in mid-period, and then, of course, it goes right through the 90s and right through mm. to the recent last year. In a sense, this painting is rather uncommon because so often in the early years, he worked a very small scale. I mean, we see in those mm. early works very beautiful, particular paintings, very, very fine brush strokes uh, using the sable-haired brush. And then, of course, he changes, as we know, in the um, sort of late 50s into the 60s into the hog's hair brush, and it all gets much more expressionist. Um, but it still remains small scale, and then in the 80s, he begins to break into this larger scale. astonishing picture, isn't it? I mean, it's, um, she looks like Venus enthroned, it looks like a goddess. Well, it is one of the really grand pictures by Lucian Freud, and this, I think, we feel is the sort of mature phase, where the great, um, known as the benefit supervisor, because she worked in yes. the Social Security office, uh, but Sue Tilly is the did. subject here, and she became one of the sort of fixed parts of the studio for a period, and these four paintings yes. we had together, we wanted to make one of the great highlights of the exhibition. There's also a nice sense, I think, of because she's asleep uh, and she's asleep in some of the others, you can't quite get close to her. So you're like the artist, you know, she's not looking back, she's looking away or she's asleep yes. or she's somewhere distant. And this is Lucian Freud's last portrait done in 2011 and left unfinished uh, at his death. As you can see, he hasn't quite got round to the hind legs of his beloved Whippet. This is Paul Levy for the Wall Street Journal at the National Portrait Gallery in London.